Let's go. So, you didn't back down after all. You deserve a slow clap for that. What brought you here, then? Resignation to your fate, or delusional confidence? You Synthesters are a blight on this town. No one has the right to steal these people's livelihoods. <laughs> what livelihoods? These people only squander their precious mortal time. You see, contrary to popular belief, all men are not created equal. Rather, every man has his worth. And otaku are no exception. All they do is consume that which they're given. They make no contribution to society. They pursue no real goal. They're jacks of no trade and masters of nothing. It's the natural order of things to drain such cowards dry. Fitting, is it not? that their energy should provide the nourishment we seek. In the Great Master's plan, each rung in the ladder of society will receive exactly what it deserves. We can shake ourselves free of all the irresolute, spiritless nobodies in this accursed existence. Allow me to spell it out for you in words you can understand, then. You pathetic otaku aren't needed. I can see you're not about to listen to reason. Which leaves me no choice but to separate your souls from your broken bodies. Who's you? I'm good to go. <laughs> It is. You lost. It's over. I'm not like the other otaku. I put everything, my life itself, on the line. I was going to make this a haven 
of chosen otaku. Only the finest specimens. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Was I wrong? Was I not defending this town's righteousness? If not, then everything I've done is... No! No! You're no longer a Synthister. And until your wounds heal naturally, you'd do well to stay away from this town you love so much. But once you've reverted into an ordinary otaku, I look forward to meeting you again on the streets of Akihabara. Uh, I... I... Uh, 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 I don't know how we did it, but we won. And... I'm very glad you're all right. <laughs> Show yourself. You cannot hide from me. So, you've proven yourself superior to Zenya. <laughs> Such a contradiction is man. He will fight against an injustice for generations, but as soon as he gains the faintest gleam of power, his conviction begins to falter. Such was the fate of Xenia. He flew too close to the sun, lured by his own predominance, until his wings simply burned away. We've all seen his kind before. A man who shows remarkable talent until his first taste of loss. Then, after a single setback, he loses all faith in himself. His invincible self-image cracks and crumbles. <laughs> if only he would have evaluated his failings, learned from them and grown. Instead, he invested the whole of his being into a drug he knew so little about. Such a pity. I had plans for him. I had hoped he'd be of use for longer. But I can only fault myself for that miscalculation. So you're the one behind all this. I've been looking for you. For quite a while. Shizaku. After Ren left, I never imagined you too would abandon the Night Eater village. We agree to let no harm befall the humans. When one of us breaks that pact, the rest of us have a duty to set things right. Soga. Do you honestly comprehend what it is you're doing? Of course. And I have taken every precaution, I assure you. Fate has already chosen whose lives will continue and whose will not. What gives you the right? Arguing is pointless. The truth of the matter came to me long ago. And so, I can offer you two choices. Either leave this town, or sit by and watch as the inevitable comes to pass. You are free to choose whichever best suits you. But no that if you insist on becoming obstacles again, I will not hesitate to crush you. His name is Soga Kagutsuki. He's from the same Night Eater clan as myself and Rin, and he looks to be the mastermind behind this whole operation. I had a feeling he might be. I just hoped I was wrong. <sighs> wow.
wonderful.
place. 